Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Math Blog. Uh, this lesson is on relating fractions, decimals, and money. Now you can't see it down here because it's right underneath here. This is lesson 9.4. Okay, so we're, um, we're dealing with money and cents. So I have a little penny tree right here. So pennies are in cents right here. I thought that was kind of cool. So uh, anyway, so uh, the common core of this lesson is uh, we're going to understand decimal notation for fractions and compare decimal fractions. Okay. And then, so how can we relate these fractions, decimals, to money? Okay, so it's it's the same as uh, what we've been doing in the last couple of lessons. So let's access some prior knowledge about some money, you guys. Okay, so here's a dollar bill. I wish I could move this, you guys. I can't. It's in the way. But here's a hundred pennies right here. A dollar uh, is equal to a hundred cents or a hundred pennies. And there's a hundred pennies if you can count them right here. There's there's four of them missing behind here right there, but there's a hundred pennies right there. Okay, here's a half dollar, you guys. A half dollar is 50 cents or 50 pennies. There's 50 pennies right there. Half dollar is 50 cents. Okay, so two half dollars would get me two times 50, okay, which is a hundred cents. So it's uh, two half dollars is the same as a dollar, which uh, is a hundred pennies. Okay, so here's two half dollars. It takes two half dollars to make a dollar. Okay, here's a quarter. A quarter uh, always says a quarter dollar right there. It says a quarter dollar right there. One quarter is 25 cents or 25 pennies right there. Okay, so how many quarters is it going to take to make a dollar? Okay, well, if one quarter makes uh, uh, 25 cents, then if I do four quarters, four times 25 equals 100 cents. So four quarters equals 100 pennies or a dollar. Okay, so it takes four quarters to make a uh, hundred cents or, or a dollar. One dime is ten cents or ten pennies. So how many dimes is it going to take to get me a hundred pennies? Okay, you probably know this. It's ten. Ten dimes will give me uh, ten times ten cents or a hundred cents or a hundred pennies. Okay, so like this, this row right here would be one dime. This row right here would be another dime. So there's here's another dime. There would be ten dimes in these ten rows of of 10 pennies each so okay and then we have nickels remember nickels are five cents right here or five pennies right there so if uh, it took 10 dimes to make a, a dollar or 100 cents how many nickels is it going to take to make a hundred cents well it's going to be twice that many so it's going to be 20 nickels 20 times 5 equals 100 cents, okay, or 100 pennies right there, all right, so just to uh, remember what looks like what, there's a half dollar right there, half dollar says liberty going across the top, do you guys know the president right there, I do, I'll share that with you in a second right there, okay, here's a quarter, a quarter always says quarter dollar right there in the United States of America on top right there, a quarter equals 25 cents, a half dollar equals 50 cents, and then we have the dime, the dime, uh, the dime says liberty over here, and it's a much, it's the smallest of all the coins, you guys. The dime is the smallest. Okay, it's even smaller than a penny. Okay, so a dime is ten cents, and then a nickel, a nickel is five cents, and then the penny is is one cent right there. Okay, and so so the president right there, that's John F. Kennedy. He's the president right there. Okay, the president that's on the quarter is um, is Washington. Okay, George Washington. The uh, president on the dime is Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I've always liked that name, Delano, but Franklin D. Roosevelt, uh, and he was your 32nd president. Okay, JFK, John F. Kennedy was your 35th president. And then, of course, everybody knows George Washington was our was our first president. Okay, and then uh, Thomas Jefferson, our third president, was on is on the nickel. And this is good old Abe, Abraham Lincoln. He's on the penny. He was our 16th president, by the way. I don't, you can't see that, but it says 16th president. Okay. Anyway, so let's try one of these together. Avery and Cannon have a dollar in quarters. They want to share the quarters equally. How many quarters should each get? How much money is this? Okay, so let's remember, you guys. A dollar is 100 cents. A quarter is 25 cents. A dime is 10. A nickel is 5. And a penny is 1. So we're dealing with quarters right here. Whoops, I forgot my 50 cent piece in there. My half dollar. That's okay. Um, so uh, we're going to use the model to relate fractions and decimals. So remember, 4 quarters gets me a dollar. So here's 25 cents plus 25 cents is 50 cents plus 25 cents is 75 cents plus 25 more gets me a dollar, a hundred cents right there. So four quarters equals a dollar. 
Okay, so uh, one quarter is 25 cents. So it's 25 out of 100 cents. Okay, so that's what this says, 25 out of 100, because we're dealing with a dollar, and a dollar is 100 cents right there. So a quarter is only 25 out of 100, or one-fourth. 25 and 100 reduces to one-fourth. Okay, so it's one-fourth of a dollar. Okay, so two quarters uh, ends up being 50 cents. So 50 out of 100, which is uh, reduces to two out of four, or even reduces even better, one half of a dollar. So two quarters gives me a half of a dollar right there. All right, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? So a half a dollar is going to be equal to 50 cents, okay? And so this right here, this says uh, 0.5 of a dollar, or this says 50 cents right here. So when you're dealing with dollars, you got to represent it as 50 hundredths. Remember the zero right there ends in the hundredths right there. So it's 50 hundredths of a dollar, or you can say 50 cents right there, okay? So when you're talking about money with dollar signs, you got to do the decimal 0.50. And if you're talking about cents, you can just say 50 cents right there. Okay, so I think your textbook asks, asks you, and this says, circle the number of quarters that each should have. That's what this says right here. So how many quarters is each going to have? Hopefully you guys can see that. Each, each uh, student is going to have two quarters, okay? So that's how many quarters each should have, okay? So each person is going to get two quarters, and then how much of a dollar? Remember, this is a dollar, okay? So we're going to go 0.5. Five zero, okay. So it's it means fifty, and this ends in the hundredth spot. You always look at the last number. This ends in the hundredth spot. Remember, this is the tenths spot. This is the ones spot. There's zero dollars in there, but there's fifty hundredths of a dollar. So so uh, zero point five zero dollars. Okay. Note uh, that um, uh, fifty hundredths of a dollar is just the same as fifty cents. So when I see this, you guys, I typically say this represents fifty cents. But when they want to talk about dollars, you got to do the zero point five zero for the fifty cents right there. Okay, so we're going to use money, money to model decimals. Okay, so here I have a dollar, here I have uh, 10 uh, dimes, and here I have 100 pennies right there. Yes, there's 100 pennies. I counted them, you guys. Okay, so these all equal to dollar. So, so this one dollar right here is a hundred cents right here. Okay, so all of these hundred squares are shaded in right there. So it equals one hundred cents. All right, one dime though, you guys, one dime. If I want to talk about one dime, it's going to only take up ten of these. So one dime is one tenth or or 0 0.10 right here. Remember, this zero ends in the hundredth spot, so this, this decimal says ten hundredths of a dollar. So we're going to write it as 0 0.10, okay? So that's how we represent uh, one dime in money. So if you ever see the dollar sign right there, then you got to put zero and then ten, which represents the ten cents right there. Okay? So one penny, you guys, one penny would only be one of these 100 guys shaded right there. So one penny is one out of the 100 shaded. Okay? Or this is tenths, this is uh, hundredths right here, so this is ending in the hundredths. Or one hundredths of a dollar. So if I'm going to write, write this as a dollar right here, it's going to be uh, uh, 0 0.01 right there. Okay? And that, that represents one cent right there. Okay? All right. So um, uh, if you have 72 pennies, what part of a dollar do you have? And then explain. Okay. So 72 pennies represents uh, 72 hundredths of a dollar. Or 0 0.72. This says uh, this two ends in the hundredths. So we say 72 hundredths dollars because the value of one penny is one hundredth of a dollar so the value of 72 pennies is 72 hundredths of a dollar okay so what part of a dollar do I have I have 72 hundredths of a dollar okay you can write it like this 72 hundredths or write it like this as a decimal 72 and it ends in the hundredth spot 72 hundredths don't forget your zero all right so think of dollars as ones dimes as tenths and pennies as hundredths so here we go. So if I talk about dollars right here, this dollar sign says I have one dollar and fifty-six pennies. Because remember, pennies ends in the hundredths. There's one penny, one one hundredth of a penny in a dollar. So this says I have one dollar and fifty-six pennies. So one dollar and fifty-six pennies is the same as a hundred pennies for the one dollar. And then the 56 pennies for the, the decimal right here. So there's a dollar 56 is the same as 156 pennies. Over here, when I don't have the dollar sign, 
uh, 1.56 is the same as uh, 1 and 56 hundredths. 1, remember the decimal it represents and? 1 and, so this and is this decimal right here, 1 and 56 hundredths. So there are 100 uh, hundredths right here uh, in the 1 right there. So this represents 100 hundredths. And then this 56 represents 56 more. So there's 156 hundredths right there. Okay? Don't get too worried about that, you guys. Okay, so more examples. Shade the decimal model to show the money amount. To then write the money amount as a fraction in terms of dollars. Okay, so here I see a dime. I see two nickels and a penny. So here's 10, 15, 20, 21. This is 21 cents right here. So we're going to go ahead and shade in 21 squares. So there's 10, 20, 21. Okay, so it represents 21 hundredths of a dollar, or when I represent that as money-wise, it's going to be a dollar sign, so 0 0.21. This represents 21 cents right here, okay? So in money-wise, with the dollar sign, we've got to do 0 0.21. The one ends in the hundredth spot. It represents 21 hundredths of a dollar. Okay, what about this one? Here's a dollar. Here's a quarter. Here's a dime, a dime, and a penny. So here's a dollar, 25 plus 10 is 35, plus 10 more is 45, plus the penny, $1.46. So I'm going to shade all of these 100 squares to represent this $1. So this $1 represents 100 cents. And over here, I'm going to shade in 46 cents right here. Okay, so $1.46 is the same as 1 and, here's my and part, here's my 1 for this one right here, and how many squares are shaded? 46 out of the 100 are shaded, so 46 uh, dollar. So one and forty-six hundredths of a dollar right there. Okay, so try this you guys. Um, uh, complete the table to show how much money, fractions, mixed numbers, and decimals are related. So here, this is easy. In dollar signs it represents uh, these two numbers are the same always right here. So notice this is 0 0.25, so is this. This is going to be 0 0.25. Okay, so what fraction am I going to put in here? Okay, so this ends in the hundredth spot, so this is going to be three hundredths right here. And then how many coins is that? This is going to be three pennies because it represents uh, uh, three cents right there. Okay, three one hundredths. Remember, pennies are in hundredths, so this represents three hundredths. Okay, well, I know this 0.25 is going to go over here, right there. Okay, it's 25 hundredths right there. So you can write 25 pennies, or you know that 25 pennies equals what coin is that? It's a quarter. Okay, so a quarter. All right, so this time two quarters and a dime. Well, two quarters is going to be... Uh, 2 times 25 for the quarters is 50 cents, plus 1 dime is going to be 60 cents right there. So how much money is that going to be? That's going to be uh, 0 0.60 with a dollar sign right there. Okay, and then over here is going to be the same, 0 0.60, okay? All right, so just remember your dollar sign goes with that right there. Okay, so two bills, so here's $2.00. Two $1 bills is $2.00 and five nickels. Well, five nickels is 5, 10, 15, 20. So this is $2.00, uh, I'm sorry, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So this is $2.25 right there. Okay, so don't remember, this uh, $2.25 represents uh, 2.25. And then I'm going to write this as a mixed number. So this is going to be 2 and 25 hundredths or uh, 2 and 1 fourth right there. All right, I hope this helped you guys, and if it does, uh, please uh, click like. That means a lot to me. Take care, everybody.